As of July 2025, the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, remains on track to achieve one of the most ambitious milestones in the history of fighter aircraft development. The collaborative program between the United Kingdom, Japan, and Italy has confirmed that its sixth-generation combat aircraft prototype will conduct its first flight in 2027. This is a major step forward in the effort to field an advanced manned fighter by 2035, a goal that combines cutting-edge aerospace technology with unprecedented digital development methods. The prototype aircraft is over two-thirds structurally complete. Its construction involves a highly stealth-optimized design featuring a chined fuselage, cropped delta wing, and twin-canted vertical stabilizers. These features have been selected through years of computational analysis and aerodynamic modeling. The airframe is configured to house twin engines in a single pilot cockpit, built with modular architecture to allow future upgrades over its projected 40-plus year life cycle. The use of a chined nose and smooth, continuous surfaces across the fuselage and wings minimizes radar cross-section, enhancing survivability in high-threat environments. The carefully calculated angles of the wings and stabilizers are intended not only to reduce detectability but also to increase aerodynamic stability and maneuverability at both subsonic and supersonic speeds. These structural decisions are the result of thousands of hours of wind tunnel tests and simulation runs across multiple national laboratories and aerospace centers in the three participating countries. The demonstrator version of the aircraft is powered by EJ-200 engines for expedience, allowing engineers to verify flight control systems, structural performance, and stealth shaping without waiting for the development of a dedicated propulsion system. This choice streamlines early test phases and reduces technological risk. Although the demonstrator does not represent the final production model, it will test critical airframe systems, environmental control, landing gear behavior, engine airframe integration, and flight dynamics. Digital engineering has been a central part of GCAP's speed and efficiency. All major assemblies have been designed and validated using digital twins, full-scale virtual replicas that simulate real-world performance, thermal behavior, vibration patterns, and systems operation. This approach enables engineers to rapidly iterate designs, reduce material waste, and detect potential faults long before physical construction begins. The digital tools in use also include AI-assisted optimization of airflow, stress points, and thermal distribution, which are essential for sustained high-speed flight and stealth effectiveness. Simulator testing has played a parallel role in the development timeline. To date, 13 test pilots from the three countries have conducted more than 300 hours of virtual flight in high-fidelity GCAP cockpits. These simulations have been critical in refining control surface response, pilot ergonomics, flight envelope limits, and automated system behavior. Each test flight is logged, analyzed, and fed back into the digital design environment, allowing for real-time adjustments and design updates. In June 2025, the core industrial partners formed a joint venture called Edgewing to lead the development and production phases of the aircraft. Bay Systems UK, Leonardo, Italy, and Japan Aircraft Industrial Enhancement Company. Japan each contributes specialized engineering, systems integration, and manufacturing capabilities. Edgewing is headquartered in Reading, United Kingdom, and coordinates activity across engineering hubs in all three nations. The structure of Edgewing allows for shared intellectual property, unified development standards, and synchronized production timelines. The program operates under the GCAP International Government Organization, a trilateral management body overseeing funding, requirements, security standards, and technology sharing. All key decisions about the aircraft's capabilities, production rates, export policies, and upgrade paths are made through this centralized governance structure, which has proven to be more agile than many historical multilateral defense programs. The final GCAP aircraft is being designed to function within a digitally fused battlespace. Its flight systems will integrate data from onboard sensors, ground stations, and external platforms, allowing the pilot to make decisions with comprehensive real-time situational awareness. The aircraft is also expected to feature advanced artificial intelligence to assist in threat detection, navigation, and mission planning, reducing pilot workload and enabling better decision-making under pressure. One of the GCAP program's main long-term goals is not only to produce a next-generation air superiority platform but also to retain and grow high-skill aerospace workforces in all three nations. Thousands of engineers, technicians, software developers, and support personnel are already engaged in GCAP work, with major investments being made into training programs and industrial infrastructure. Several universities in the UK, 
Japan, and Italy have launched programs specifically tailored to support skills in digital design, aerodynamics, stealth engineering, and advanced propulsion. Economic and strategic self-reliance is also a key driver of GCAP. By working together on equal terms, the partner countries aim to preserve sovereign control over core technologies, supply chains, and data systems. Unlike previous generations of aircraft where key components were often outsourced or imported, the GCAP aircraft will be fully domestically designed, built, and maintained by the industrial base of the participating nations. This ensures long-term supportability, upgrade freedom, and protection against strategic export restrictions. The program continues to meet its internal deadlines, with suppliers delivering components according to schedule, test facilities running at full capacity, and regulatory approvals being streamlined by national defense ministries. While timelines for such advanced aerospace projects are often delayed due to technical challenges or budgetary issues, GCAP has so far avoided significant slippage. Its success is partly attributed to its reliance on simulation and modeling, which allows physical prototyping to begin only after designs have passed rigorous virtual validation. As of July 2025, the team is preparing for final systems integration, ground testing, and software in the loop simulations. These stages must be completed before taxi tests and the first low-speed flights can begin. The 2027 flight will serve as a proof of concept, and its success will dictate the pace of full-scale production tooling, operational test planning, and international certification. The long-term vision is for the aircraft to enter service around 2035 and remain adaptable for emerging threats and technologies through regular software updates and hardware modernization. Design features such as open architecture mission systems, modular avionics bays, and reprogrammable digital backbones are built into the prototype to allow seamless updates over the next several decades. GCAP represents one of the most technically advanced, digitally managed, and politically coordinated combat aircraft programs in the world today. It is moving toward its 2027 flight goal on schedule, with significant design, construction, and testing milestones already completed. The program is intended to deliver not only a highly capable manned combat aircraft but also an enduring model of international industrial cooperation that supports security, technological leadership, and economic growth.